Number 27. Assuming that no equilibria other than dissolution are involved, calculate the concentrations of the ions in a saturated solution of each of the following, and then see Appendix J for those solubility products. So in this example, we have to find out the concentration of the ions in this hydrate, strontium hydroxide, SrOH2, and then we have octahydrate. Yikes. But I got you guys. This isn't going to be too scary. Now, I did have to go in the back of the textbook to find out what the solubility product is, the KSP, SP solubility product, of this strontium hydroxide octahydrate, which is 3.2 times 10 to the negative fourth. Now, they did tell us that we're in a saturated solution. Saturated solution just means that there's no additional ions that are affecting solubility, and it's just that this is the only thing that's going to be breaking down in your solution. So... Here's the thing, if you're working with hydrates, right, we want to find out, or when we make an equation, we only want to make an equation in which you have ions. Keep in mind that when you're undergoing KSPs and you're dissolving your compound, you're always going to be dissolving it in water. That's why we always put AQ next to our aqueous, next to our ions. AQ means aqueous in water aqueous, right? Aqua, water. So H2O is the solvent. That's a liquid. And liquids do not get included in KSP values because no liquids, no solids. So in essence, I don't even care about this H2O. I'm just going to only pay attention to the ionic compound. That's what's going to break into the ions. So let's have a go, shall we? Strontium SR. OH2. This is your solid that's going to break down into its ions. So double arrow because we're dealing with KSPs. And OH hydroxide, we've been seeing that time and time again. That's a polyatomic. The break would have to be between your strontium and your hydroxide. So I have SR, SR, and then OH. There's a couple of different ways to find out the charges in the upper right-hand corner. You could crisscross the subscripts. You can also just, you know, look at the periodic table, memorize your polyatomics. OH, hydroxide, is always a negative one charge. And strontium, since it's in group two on the periodic table, the second group, those are always plus two charges. Let's put the aqueous signs here because we have charges. And now let's just balance. I notice that I have two hydroxides, so I do have to put a two in front of the OH, and then one strontium for each side, so we're good here. Next, I'm gonna take my general KSP formula and just make our own, right, for what we have. The two products is the strontium and the hydroxide. Remember, reactants aren't included because no solids are allowed. So, KSP equals the concentration of the strontium ion, SR2+, plus, times the hydroxide ion, OH-. minus. Raise it to the coefficients. Now, there was no coefficient in front of the strontium, the SR. That means that there is one of them, but there's two hydroxides. So whatever the hydroxide concentration is, I have to raise it to the second. You could raise the strontium to the first, but that would be the same as just ha nothing, you know, having nothing there. So KSP, what we looked in the back of the textbook, 3.2 times 10 to the negative fourth. But the thing is, is that I don't know these ions. So I'm just going to make up variables. I dare you to use any other variable except for X. You can't. You just can't. <laughs> so I'm going to use X. So I'll say first strontium, I don't know what it is, so I'm just going to label it as X. But technically, it's a ratio, so you'll just plop your coefficient value in front. But 1 times X is just X, so it's just a easier to just label it as X. But for the hydroxide, if I label it as X, it has to be 2X, because it's a 1 to 2 relationship. You should have 2 times more hydroxide than your strontium. So the SR would be an X, the OH would be a 2X. And now let's plug it in. 3.2 times 10 to the negative fourth equals, 
Let's see, we got the two of those. We have x times 2x squared. 2x squared, keep in mind that that's 2x times 2x. So 2 times 2 is 4. x times x, there's a total of 2x's here, so that's x squared. So I'm just going to erase this and say that I have 4x squared. You pick up another x value, so now you have a total of 3. So it would be 3.2 times 10 to the negative fourth equals 4x cubed. And now let's just solve for x. Divide on both sides by 4 in the beginning. And let's just do that. 3.2 times 10 to the negative fourth divided by 4. So I get 8 times 10 to the negative fifth. And that equals x cubed. Now you can do the cube root on both sides on your calculator. But if you don't feel comfortable working with any uh, squaring other than square root, so like a fourth root, a fifth root, that's me personally. <laughs> I like to just raise this to the inverse number. That's essentially what a, a, a rooting is. So this is three over one. So if I just raise it to the one third, these will cancel out. But whatever I do on that side, I have to do the other side. So I'll raise this also to the one third. And now we have x equals 4.3 times 10 to the negative second. And that's molarity. But now they just wanted to find out those concentrations of the ions. The two ions are the two charges. So we have strontium, SR. We said that that was just x. And x was equal to 4.3 times 10 to the negative second. So this is 4.3 times 10 to the negative second molarity. And then for the OH, we did state that that was 2x. So I'm going to have to put in my 4.3 times 10 to the negative second and just times for 2. So what is this? 8.6? 8.6 times 10 to the negative second molarity. And there are your two concentration values. One and two and done. What'd you think? I really hope this is helping you out. Let me know uh, in the comments how you're doing, how you're doing in your chem class. And check the channel out. We also have physics and math videos at the moment with more subjects to come in the future. So hopefully we can help you guys out with that as well. Hope you're having a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.